You ever invest in Bitcoin or cryptocurrencies? It's kind of a, a confusing world. Some would even say a dangerous, even murky world because there aren't that many regulations around it. More questions about going forward, what to do about it. My next two guests, a Republican and a Democrat working together to make sure you are protected. I'm talking about Wyoming Republican Senator Cynthia Lummis. We've also got uh, New York Democrat Kirsten Gillibrand. Uh, senators, welcome to both of you. Thank you. Uh, Senator, let me say, I began with you, I want to begin with you then on, on what you're attempting to do here. A lot of people say that uh, cryptocurrencies have sort of found their footing and this whole investment field is, is policing itself adequately. You're not buying that. We're not, Neil. Uh, we introduced a bill last year before uh, a series of failures like FTX. Uh, members of the Senate and House sort of pulled back at that time, uh, unclear about whether uh, we had the right approach. Uh, we have reworked this bill, filed it today. Uh, the consumer protection provisions are much more robust, uh, and the registration requirements that we have in the bill, the individual uh, and segregated accounts. Uh, we looked at what went wrong with FTX and other failures and uh, filled those gaps and loopholes. So we're ready to go. And the, uh, the current regulations are simply inadequate, Neil. Senator Gillibrand, one of the arguments that's been raised, uh, be careful how far you police something because you'll kill it in the crib and that, and, and that, that, that this is a promising investment field, whatever the, the problems with some of these other you know, entities that have since gone belly up, but, but that this could kill it off entirely. Do you think crypto technology, crypto investments are worth it? So I believe that this bill is the sweet spot between allowing innovation and an industry to continue to grow and thrive, but also creating consumer protections, creating know your customer requirements, uh, limiting the ability for illicit finance, making sure that um, there are provisions for anti-money laundering. It's a really robust bill, but we wrote it so that the entire industry, particularly the part that touches financial services, can thrive under existing infrastructure. Part of the, in part of the industry will be regulated by the SEC. Those will be the digital assets that are defined by their nature as digital securities, by their characteristics under a existing uh, Supreme Court a set of laws, uh, the Howey test. And then the second part of the bill regulates digital assets that are more like commodities, and those will be regulated under the CFTC. So this is a comprehensive, robust bill that allows for innovation on the one hand, but also can protect U.S. markets so the industry will stay here. Right yeah. now, industry wants to leave because we have no regulations. They want to go to Europe and other places that have certainty. We need to provide certainty for industry participants, but most importantly, so that our consumers are protected. You know, Senator and Lummis, one, of the, one Neil, of the issues that I did want to follow up on that, if you don't mind, Senator, and that was this notion yes. that uh, you can have a lot of government agencies looking at something but missing a lot. And I'm thinking of the Bernie Madoff Ponzi scheme that was completely missed by then the Securities and Exchange Commission for what amounted to years. Are our regulators up to handling something like this, or could they also botch it? Well, very good fraudsters uh, will always exist and will always commit fraud, and the Bernie Madoffs of the world could exist within the digital asset space, but they're going to have to do it offshore, because if they come onshore and they want to do business in the United States, they're going to have to register with the CFTC. There are going to be a set of guidelines and yeah. restrictions and uh, we think that because our legislation covers those bases, uh, that they're not only going to uh, save consumers from the kind of fraud that you just mentioned, but then the industry itself will know the rules of the road. Right now you've got companies like Coinbase who go into the SEC and say, tell us what you want us to comply with. Tell us what the rules of the road are. We want to follow them and yet they're getting slapped with enforcement actions after the fact. 
Uh, so, so it this is a way. No, I get it. This is a way to police it. But Senator Gillibrand, I did, uh, press her time, but I did want to get your thoughts on how far this goes because, as Senator Lomas pointed out, a, a lot of these nefarious characters could do what they do offshore. But that would right. affect the price of these crypto assets, whether it's happening in London or Dubai or any one of these cities that come back to investors who have this stuff in their portfolio here in the U.S. of A. How do you stop that? So if we have a regulated market in the United States, it means that digital assets and cryptocurrency businesses will have a jurisdiction where they have certainty about what to do and how to do it to keep their businesses strong, but also protect consumers. And so if there are bad actors, they will be prosecuted uh, because now there are rules telling them what they can do and can't do. But if you look at the examples, FTX was registered in the Bahamas for a reason, because they did things that you could not do under U.S. law. Our bill clarifies everything for the digital asset space to make sure there are no ambiguities about what you have to do, how you have to keep separate accounts. You can't use money from certain customers for your own ends. There's lots of now clarity about what you can and can't do, and this will create a safer market so different industry players will want to be in the United States. Senator well, Jover, and the final word, Senator Lomas, thank you both very much. It's very encouraging to hear how people feel about this issue, that Republicans and Democrats can come together to tackle these issues. So, touche to that, Senators. Thank you again. Thank you.